Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Let's learn computer science. Okay. In today's session, we are going to learn about uh, how sound is represented in you know computers. Syllabus reference. Uh, show understanding of how sound is represented and encoded. Show understanding of impact of changing the sampling rate and resolution. So there are some important terminology also that should you should know, uh, including sampling, sampling rate, sampling resolution, analog and digital data, and including impact on file size and accuracy. So this is what we are going to cover in today's session. So let's start. Before we start about how sound is represented in computers, we must have an understanding about analog and digital data. Okay. So analog, firstly, we'll learn about analog data. So analog data, it represents information as continuous signals, as you see in this image. So it is continuous information, right? It is not... Uh, either there or not there but continuous sometimes it's at, at you know higher frequency level sometimes at lower frequency level but it is there right in continuous uh, waveform right so it can take any value within a range and you know uh, it is often represented by physical quantities for example sound you know temperature so it's not that whether temperature is there or not there no it is it has a value so it's a range you know so your data varies between that range right in continuous waveform examples of analog data includes uh, you know all these uh, information so all this information is in the continuous form right so that is analog so when we speak because we are learning about sound representation. So when we speak, it is a analog form of data. So our sound, it, it is within a range, whether it's not like whether it's there or not there. So when we speak, it has a regular frequency wave, which is generated, right? And uh, next is digital data. So digital data is what is what, what we store in computers, basically, either there, or not there, on or off, zero or one. So discrete. Digital data represents information as discrete signals, usually in binary form, zeros and ones. It uses a coding scheme where data is broken down into a series of discrete values or digits. So these are some examples of digital data, right? And it is shown like this, you know. So if you look at this graph, so this is one, this is zero, this is one, this is zero. So either there or not there. Okay, so that is uh, digital data. So computers, they only understand digital data. So whatever analog data you have to store in computers, they need to be converted into digital form. So as we are learning about sound representation and we know that sound is analog data. So whenever we have to encode it, whenever we have to store it, whenever we have to represent it in computers, we have to convert it into digital form using analog to digital converters. In short form, we call it A, D, C. Analog to digital converters are used to convert this analog form of data into digital form, right? There is some important terminology related to sound representation. We'll understand that first and then we'll learn about sound encoding, right? So sampling, what is sampling? So sampling is basically taking measurement at regular intervals. So taking some samples after, you know, few seconds or after regular intervals, you are taking, you are collecting some samples, okay? So sampling rate, number of samples connect, uh, collected, per second. So how many samples you're collecting per second is sampling rate. Then is sampling resolution. So sampling resolution is the number of bits, the number of bits used to store each sample. How many bits are required to store each sample? Okay. Also known as bit depth for sound file. 
This is also known as bit depth. Okay, sampling resolution and bit depth. So how many bits are used to store each sample that you are collecting in the sampling mm -hmm. process? Okay, now how uh, sound is represented in computer. So if we want to store sound or we want to transmit it electronically, then the original analog sound signal has to be converted to binary code, right? The uh, measured sound values are input into sound encoder. So there is a device which is known as sound encoder. So these values are given to sound encoder and that sound encoder, it has two components. First one is called band limiting fil filter. So this, what, what it does, what this first component does, this is needed to remove high frequency components. Whatever high frequency uh, uh, sounds are there which a human cannot hear those uh, sounds they are removed uh, using this band limiting filter the other component in the encoder is analog to digital converter so this analog to digital converter it converts that analog data into digital data and adc it uses sampling so we have learned what sampling is so sampling is basically taking measurements at regular intervals. So sampling is used to convert, uh, you know, uh, analog to digital. So how sampling is used to record a sound clip? So what, what happens in this process is the amplitude of the sound wave is first determined to set time intervals. So sampling rate is fixed, right? It is uh, set. And then this gives an approximate representation of the sound wave and the sound wave is then encoded as a series of binary digits, right? So whatever sample you have collected, then that is converted into zeros and ones. And then that is saved in the computer, okay? Now, next is, what is the impact of changing sampling rate and resolution? And what how it is how it impacts file size and accuracy of the sound file? So an increased sampling rate and increased sampling resolution will both cause an increase in file size. As you increase the sampling rate or the resolution, your file size will be uh, increased. And higher the sampling rate or higher the uh, larger the resolution, this will result in more accurate sound file, right? It will be closer to, to the original uh, sound source. Also, an increased sampling, sampling rate and increased sampling resolution will both cause smaller smaller quantization errors, right? So it will be basically, it will be similar to your original uh, source file. Now, okay, that's it. Now there are some uh, questions in past papers based on, uh, you know, sound file size calculation also. So how do we do it? Uh, in the question, uh, this is a question from the past paper. So an audio message is recorded with a sampling rate. Here sampling rate is given, which is 50 kilohertz and a sampling resolution of 16 bits. So you are given sampling resolution and you are given sampling rate both. So you are provided with uh, both, the, uh, both of these things. However, this is in kilohertz. So you need to convert it into hertz first, right? It is kilohertz, so you need to convert it into hertz. And this is given in bits, okay? Also here, 20 minutes in length. It is given 20 minutes in length. So you need to convert this minutes into seconds because you have learned up there the sampling uh, rate is basically how many samples collected in one second, per second. So this minutes to be converted into seconds. So, and later you need to calculate the file size. All right, simple. So first of all, this... Kilohertz will be converted to hertz by just multiplying it with 1000, so 50,000 hertz, right? Then we multiply sampling rate with sampling resolution, which is 16 bits. So 50,000 into 16 gives you these many bits. Then convert this 20 minutes to uh, seconds by 20 into 60 gives you seconds, right? And then multiply this with the seconds and you get this value. Now further, you have to give your answer in megabytes. Megabytes, not maybe. So megabytes means thousand. 
you simply divide by these bits by eight to get an uh, answer in bytes, then further by thousand to get answer in kilobytes, and then further divided by thousand to get answer in megabytes. So final answer is one twenty megabytes, right? Not maybe it's megabytes. Okay. Uh, few more past paper questions. Uh, it this question is from October November twenty twenty two nine six one eight one one. Question is sample sounds are recorded and saved in a file. So state what is meant by sampling rate. Simple sampling rate is number of sound samples taken per second. So just remember this definition and explain the effect of increasing the sampling resolution on the sound file. We have just learned increased sampling resolution will cause an increase in the file size and higher resolution will, will result in more uh, correct or faithful representation of the original sound uh, source. So it will be more closure to the original file. Okay, so that's all today. So we have also covered uh, sound encoding in today's session and all these topics mentioned in this snapshot of syllabus are covered in today's session. So thank you.